You have a date? Tell me everything. I need to know every tell tell us everything. Um, were you going on a date with? Did you ask them out? Did they ask you out? What are you guys gonna do? Huh? This is so exciting. I'm so excited for you. I think I will be in the market for a husband one day as well. And to find a husband, I have to start going on dates and start asking them serious questions. Like what their plans are, where they want to live, what they're, you, you got to, if, if you're looking for a life partner, you, you got to, you got to ask the serious questions, right? How long will be the line for husband applications? I don't know, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give them, I'm going to, I'm going to, how long have you been subscribed to my channel exactly? Um, Archangelo, so like, um, I know, I know you, maybe I'm misreading kind of the way you wrote it. I know you kind of came off it from the way I read it. It seems like you're coming off a little bit aggressively and like, you know, women made guys scared of asking out women. I genuinely, I, I completely get it. I, I'm, I'm completely get it. Um, I've always been somebody that was not afraid of making the first move because I tend to like very nerdy, shy men, but I have also heard from a lot of my male friends and just generally from being online that yes, it is very true. And I do think it's very um, scary for men to ask women out because you can feel that, oh, I'm bothering her. That's the less bad one. But the worst one is then if she'll be like, you're a creep, you're annoying, leave me alone, which again, um, I'm so sorry that that's kind of how things are. I think a big portion of it, I've spoken to a lot of friends about this and I've spoken to some younger people about this. According to some younger people I spoke to, for a lot of them, they never really dated outside of dating apps. So this feels like maybe that's why it is that way. I'm not saying that it's good. It's absolutely not good. It's bad for both men and women, right? It's bad for both of everybody. So I am sorry that you have that extra pressure and it's so scary and, you know, a lot of women... And I'm saying this for me because I, I'm a woman who dates men, but I'm just using those lines. You can be anybody dating anybody. It's not, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not judging, but uh, it just really sucks that, you know, women are still kind of like, oh, well, he has to make the first move, but then guys are scared of making the first move because if you make the first move, well, then you're a predator or things like that, which I'm hoping, you know, as maybe the younger generations that are currently like 19, 20, 21 get older, they'll get over that a little bit. But usually I always tell my friends who are women who want to date men to make a lot more first moves or at least make it very known like, oh, you know, you could ask me on a date, right? But not like that. That sounds aggressive. But like, oh, just so you know, if you ask me on a date, I wouldn't say no. In fact, I'd love to go on a date with you. I know it's scary, but you could say it. If it, I'm sorry if I misread your tone and it felt like to me from reading the way you wrote it, it seemed like you were being a little bit like cheeky with it um but no i completely agree i think it's really tough for y'all and i'm sorry and i'm doing my part by telling any girlfriend ever that hey you know shoot your shot let him know let him know you're into him tell him my breasts are down here you can look you know i i do wonder where most of it is coming from from everybody i spoke to it seems like dating apps because it feels like a lot of younger people because of covid and dating apps just have never dated in person um outside of kind of dating apps and outside of all that stuff you have to hit most of us in the face if you want to flirt yeah i feel especially if you're like into you know like i said i've, I've always really liked shy nerdy men so i've been kind of used to it i'm also a very um in my life, when I want something, I get it done, right? Like I, I go out, I get the collab going, I invite people, I get stuff going. I make sure that if I like somebody, they're going to know. That's why um, at my old job, I don't know if anybody has been a fan for that long, but when I was leaving, one of my direct coworkers, like in my group, she asked on stream, she said, uh, do you regret not getting close to anybody here before leaving? And I said, no, everybody that I wanted to get close to, I did because that's what I do. I'm somebody that I will kind of push and go. And if you don't want to be close with me, no pressure. You don't have to. But I I go for it and I get stuff done. Um, and obviously, like, I don't. I've had to learn, you know, to respect other people's boundaries that if people, you know, if people tell me no, of course, I, I'm never, never going to push. I never want to push somebody to be my friend. But uh, I, I do know it's it's really, really tough 
for the younger gen right now. And I do have some younger friends. I have some friends who have younger siblings and we talk about it. So I know it's it's really tough for dating, especially when you're younger in the moment. And I'm, I'm truly I'm sorry, y'all. I, I It sucks. I don't even understand how people found each other pre-COVID. Mm, two big, big advices that I've heard is number one. I mean, I mean, usually if you have any semblance of a friend circle, tell your friends, hey, I'm looking to date. I'm looking to, you know, meet women, et cetera, et cetera. It might not work, but it's good. It's the same thing as like if you want a job, let people know you're looking for a job. I have friends that started dating because of run clubs, actually, and and um, rock climbing. Usually it's through other friends, through work or rock climbing and, and some kind of activity. Listen. I'm not saying, men, you need to start doing Pilates to meet women. But if you went to Pilates and you genuinely enjoyed it and you were there, I'm just, or yoga, I'm just saying. Have you seen those memes of women being like, oh, time to go look really cute in a, in a home uh, department store? You know, look real cute at a coffee shop reading a book. I don't, you know. Unity. I know that feels like that often, but I, I feel that people find each other and get married at any time. But definitely, you know, as people get older, they also might have a little bit more trauma, more baggage or the opposite where they could have healed through their trauma and their baggage and they've gotten better at communicating what they want and don't don't want. Also, focusing on yourself is really, really big. I agree. Focusing on yourself is really big because I think when you do meet people for a relationship, you got to be the kind of person that people would want to be in a relationship with. If you are genuinely looking for serious commitment, I would say think about what kind of relationship you want. So, for example, let's say you talk to somebody and their perfect Saturday is waking up and running a marathon and your perfect Saturday is waking up at 5 p.m. cooking dinner together and watching anime. You're just not for that person, but there will be another person. I think also realizing what is a deal breaker and what isn't. For example, I kind of like when me and the person I'm with don't share every single hobby and everything. I like when people I'm with are different from me and we can learn from each other. But that being said, they would probably have to understand gaming and they would probably have to. They don't have to play video games, but they'd have to at least understand it. Right. I think I think a lot of times people think that a date going bad, like a date going bad is they started crying and shot the waiter. That's a date going bad, right? I think if you and the other person didn't really have anything in common, didn't really get the vibes, didn't really like each other. That's a that's a good date. It's a date that let you know that you're not for one and the other, which is fine. I think you learn a lot about yourself when you go on a date with somebody that kind of misses what you like. Or you notice something that they do and you think, I don't really like that. That doesn't really vibe with me. That being said, <laughs> even though it sucks for y'all, when I am ready for a husband, I will, I will cast my net far and wide once again. Once I am ready and I am emotionally mature enough and healed, I'll, I'll, I'll be back there. It sucks for you guys. It sucks for me. Sucks for everybody. But I still think. I still think there there are great people out there and they uh, and they, you know, they deserve my love mm. and my teeth to sink into their flesh and cannibalize them. 